I will have the uh, Cajun catfish. Anything else? Yes, how about a verse of Killing Me Softly? To help you plan your next dinner outing, here are the top 10 underrated chain restaurants in America. Because sometimes it's the smaller, less talked about players that deserve all the hype. You know what? You need to pay attention and learn. Denny's. What's for dinner? Breakfast. That's what's for dinner. When you're planning an evening out, Denny's might not be everyone's destination of choice. On the one hand, it makes sense since the chain isn't really associated with fine dining, but on the other hand, if people just gave it a try, Denny's could probably weasel its way into their new top 10 list of favorite restaurants. Denny's isn't just for breakfast. And steaks aren't just for dinner. First opened as a donut stand in 1953, Denny's has been America's diner for over 60 years and has expanded to over 1,700 locations operating across 15 countries. While it may not be the most popular hangout spot, numbers don't lie, and we can't deny it must be doing something right. Denny's is the perfect place to sit, eat, and connect with people over tasty food, all the while enjoying great company and service. Whether you go in for your usual or to try something new, Denny's will have everything you're looking for. Burgers? Done. Fluffy pancakes? You got it. The menu is so extensive, it's a wonder Denny's hasn't been dubbed the ultimate American diner yet. Plus, it's open 24 hours a day. What's better than enjoying a full breakfast plate in the middle of the night? It's about breakfast. Hey. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Checkers and rallies. Hi, my name's Jack. Would you like to try Big Buford in a combo today? If you want to enjoy great burgers, hot dogs, and milkshakes, then you should stop sleeping when it comes to the national treasure that is checkers and rallies. Seriously, it's got a lot to offer. Not only is it considered one of the top-rated drive through experiences, but it's also one of the best high-quality drive-in chains in the U.S. Is the season to be <gasps> jolly? Ah! <laughs> It wasn't until 1999 that the merger between Checkers and Rallies took place, drastically helping the expansion of the chain in over 29 states. The restaurant quickly adopted its double drive through system, which greatly helped sales go up, especially considering about half of all fast food hamburger service is takeout or drive through What really sets the chain apart from bigger chains, however, is the 1950s drive-in ambiance that provides a bit of nostalgia and gives this chain its identity. Since there is no seating available except for five experimental units and outside patio benches and tables, the emphasis can fully be put on quick takeout service and the quality of the food. This is also mostly to thank for the very cheap prices the chain can afford to charge. It keeps its menu simple and to the point, making it easy to ensure quality at all times. For a truly wonderful dining experience from an underrated chain restaurant, go with Checkers and rallies. That's big league flavor for a minor league price. Qdoba. Because Qdoba stands for flavor. When it comes to Mexican fast food, most people will stick to what they know, i.e. Taco Bell and Chipotle. And while they're not bad choices per se, there are so many more left for you to discover. You know, the ones that don't overcharge you for basic things like, oh, I don't know, queso and guacamole. Chipotle, take note. Qdoba is, without a doubt, one of those chain restaurants that deserves way more credit than they're getting. It offers a variety of foods, from burritos to salads, with all the fresh toppings you could possibly want. From brown or white rice, pinto or black beans, you can customize your order the way you like it without having to worry about any extra charges. Many people have argued that Qdoba not only serves better quality food, but also way bigger portions, making this chain the best bang for your buck. In other words, the regular, more popular Mexican food eateries are good options, but Qdoba should definitely be considered as your new go-to. Why is everything at Qdoba so good? Because we grill it, slice it, smash it. California Pizza Kitchen. I think it's a cookie. No, it's a pizza. <gasps> It's, it's a, a cookie pizza. For a good pizza, you go to Domino's or Pizza Hut. For a cheap pizza, you go to Little Caesars. But what do you do when you want both? 
Well, this is where California Pizza Kitchen enters the group chat. Fondly known as CPK, the Californian chain has definitely grown a lot over the last few years since its creation in 1985, going from a single location in Beverly Hills to more than 250 in more than 30 states and 11 countries. If you've never stepped foot in a California Pizza Kitchen, it might be time to change things up. Known for its barbecue chicken pizza, which was the product of its own imagination, CPK offers some of the best pies on the market at very decent prices. Pizza time. It might not be the most widespread pizza chain out there, but with so much competition in the pizza biz, it's done fairly well. Even though it's been struggling in the last year due to the pandemic and had to file for bankruptcy, it doesn't take away from all the deliciousness of its menu. Let's go back to the barbecue chicken pizza. It's worth mentioning again. Made with hand-tossed dough, chicken, creamy shredded mozzarella, smoked gouda cheese, crispy red onions, and topped with a drizzle of barbecue sauce and fresh cilantro, it's undoubtedly one of the tastiest pizzas you could ever get your hands on. Give me the pizza. No, 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 I'm, I, I don't, I'm gonna take it up to the top. Absolutely. Texas Roadhouse. Mmm. 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 Surprisingly tender. Tender. Contrary to traditional chain restaurants that all serve the same pre-made kind of food, Texas Roadhouse makes almost everything from scratch using original recipes, from their famous rolls to salad dressing. Big chains tend to take shortcuts in preparing meals, like using pre-packaged or frozen ingredients, which are microwaved or heated up before being served. But Texas Roadhouse knew better than to take the easy way out. Even the meats are prepared in-house. Well, except for the T-bone, which is made off-site, but still. Each location has its own butcher who hand-cuts the never-frozen steaks and takes the time and effort to make sure that everything is cooked to perfection. Obviously, anything involving meat is the most popular offering at a Texas roadhouse, so in order to keep them good and fresh, there is a giant meat cooler in every restaurant that keeps the meat at a temperature of 34 degrees precisely. Promise me you'll try it first. Yeah. Yeah, try his meat, Emily. With all of this care, attention to detail, and great flavors, it's no wonder Texas Roadhouse has been repeatedly named one of America's most underrated chain restaurants. New York cut steak, 12 peas, but love milk with a cap. Jimmy John's. And I have high quality, reasonably priced sandwiches. No offense to Subway or anything, but it's time to set the record straight. They're not the only player in the game. There are plenty of other really delicious and inexpensive sandwich chains out there, and the entire industry shouldn't revolve only around just one. Jimmy John's, for instance, is widely underrated, and yet it offers some of the best sandwiches on the market. Jimmy John's was founded in 1983 in Charleston, Illinois, and has since expanded to 2,700 locations in almost every state. The original menu featured only four sandwiches, and they were made just like they are today, with hand-sliced meats and fresh-baked bread. It's true. Try hard, fresh baked their bread all day. One of the main reasons why Jimmy John's deserves more recognition is because of how filling and better tasting the sandwiches are compared to the ones offered at other sandwich chain restaurants. With fresh, hand-sliced produce, premium condiments, and addicting sides, the subs can't be anything but extraordinary. Another pro? Jimmy John's offers its freaky fast delivery, meaning you'll be able to indulge in your sandwich ridiculously quickly. So quickly, in fact, employees aren't allowed to spend more than 30 seconds making your sandwich, even custom orders, and the delivery should take no more than 20 minutes. Jimmy John sandwiches. I use promo code 5 off 20. Cracker Barrel. I love biscuits. These are my favorite. As an interstate institution and a road trip staple, Cracker Barrel should never be overlooked. Founded in 1969, the chain was originally created in reaction to the rapid interstate expansion, creating a new need for people crisscrossing the country in cars. As years went on and times changed, Cracker Barrel kept its promise to offer food prepared with care and warm and friendly service in all of its over 600 locations 
restaurants in almost every state. The chain is best known for its all-you-can-eat fresh biscuits, which are made from scratch in-house every single day, and a new batch is sent in the oven every 15 to 20 minutes. According to Cracker Barrel, customers consume over 200 million biscuits annually. As well as its tasty rolls, Cracker Barrel also sources up to 90% of its ingredients within the country. Yes. Stuff like green beans, potatoes, beef, pork, apples, and maple syrup all come from America. Some people have complained in the past about how some foods aren't always the best of the best, but that just depends on the location you happen to visit. So what do you usually do to your biscuits mm. at Cracker Barrel? I'm a jam and butter type guy. P.F. Chang's. Oh, you poor bears must be hungry. Well, I'm making ramen. Would you like some? With P.F. Chang's, getting your hands on some quality American Chinese food has never been so easy. Most people will usually turn to chain restaurants like Panda Express when looking for a quick fix, but we're here to celebrate another chain, one that deserves attention, P.F. Chang's. It was introduced in 1993 by Philip Chiang and Paul Fleming in Scottsdale, Arizona. Co-founder Philip Chiang's mother is even credited with being the first to bring traditional Chinese cuisine to America with her San Francisco restaurant. <sighs> What's the craziest thing on the menu? <laughs> she means the most authentic. Every day they prepare meals inspired by the great street food found in cities across Asia, from China to Japan, all with the best ingredients and traditional techniques. Hand rolling dim sum, wontons and egg rolls, preparing every sauce, wok cooking each dish, everything is done to provide the best quality of food possible. The best seller in every location though? Chang's Lettuce Wraps. There are over 200 P.F. Chang's in the U.S. alone, and others can be found in more than 25 countries. The Farm to Walk menu is able to highlight the chain's wholesome dedication to promote a cook-from-scratch approach and a knack for constantly reinventing itself. Have you seen Penny eat Chinese food? She uses a fork and she double dips her egg rolls. Waffle House. Kids, it's me, tu madre. Lois Griffin, time for breakfast. Let's be honest here, breakfast at chain restaurants isn't always of the highest quality. You can probably think of a few bad experiences you've had in the past, but it's time to forget about those and give Waffle House a shot. Not only does the food suit everyone, from college students to truck drivers, but it's also open 24-7 even on holidays. Imagine having a Waffle House Christmas dinner. Merry Christmas! <laughs> what happened to Santa? Waffle House was founded by Joe Rogers Sr. and Tom Forkner in Avondale Estates, Georgia in the 1950s. Their vision was to open a restaurant focused on speedy service and the novelty of 24-hour table service, all the while catering to the customer's every need. Easy to say today that it was mission accomplished as Waffle House began expanding quickly and now has over 2,100 locations. While waffles are the best seller across the board, serving about 145 waffles per minute, the chain offers so much more than just breakfast. Are you sure that's the best thing for you right now? Oh, it's the best thing on the menu. Burgerville. I've been so busy I forgot how delicious everything is here. Nowadays, it seems like you can find burgers just about everywhere. Every fast food diner and chain restaurant has at least one burger item on its menu. Don't get us wrong, it's a great thing, that means we have more options. But it also makes it harder to find that special one that will sweep us off our feet. Thankfully, you won't have to search for too long, as Burgerville might just be the one you've been waiting for. Found exclusively in Washington and Oregon, Burgerville has an old-school nostalgia vibe, from its decor to its freshly made burgers that will be able to satisfy all of your cravings. It was first opened in 1961 and now has over 40 locations across the Pacific Northwest. What makes Burgerville stand out in a sea of burger joints is its commitment to using only quality local ingredients like hormone-free meats and partnering with neighboring farms and businesses to keep its promise of sustainability and transparency. From burgers to milkshakes to cookies and sundaes, Burgerville definitely has what it takes to spread its wings even wider and take over America with its delicious food.
You're gonna be my breakfast English sausage! <laughs> Stay for seconds and tap or click another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.